So, um, <laughs> no. Babe, if you can try skin, I will throw I'm, you down. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna hold off on this for now. I didn't see that going well. <laughs> What's up guys, how you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And this is the, the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan the, the Paul, Paul and Morgan, Morgan show. show. So today's video is part one in a three-part series on being a Christian in college. Today is gonna be a Q&A kind of of all topics, but then second episode and third episode are gonna be more tailored to very specific things such as dating or partying yes. slash drinking, etc. Well said, college. babe. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> and for those of you who saw our last video, we said we were gonna be doing something special for each video on Thursday for the month of November. Today is Thursday. For your surprise today, while we are answering questions, I will be doing my lovely wife's makeup. Yeah. I feel like I'm above average in the male makeup. He thinks that he's not though. You've got a great canvas to work with. I'm really gonna do something nice with these lips. And I'm really going to make sure I accentuate these cheekbones. <laughs> to this channel make sure you subscribe we make christian advice videos on life love and dating to help you have hope and be free so turn that notification bell on i just want to say even though we're going to be having fun and getting goofy <laughs> we are taking these questions seriously we know that a large part of our audience are in college and we want to be a good resource to you as some of you may know i did not even go to college <laughs> So some of y'all might be like, why the heck is she think she can give advice? But I have done things such as stepping out, being independent, moving away from family, things like that. And some of the questions that we got related to that. So I feel like I will be able to answer that. Also, I lived vicariously through a few of my friends and went to college with them for a while. She did. So you were like the moocher friend. Yeah. I did go to college, so I will have some... <laughs> Some more insight for you guys. All right, first question is how to deal with all the pressure of college and manage time between college and God. Yeah, we had several people send in a question like this. You're wanting to get good grades. You're wanting to learn. Those are priorities, but it's also like my walk with God is my life's number one priority. I'm going to start by giving you guys a little bit of a challenge and you guys know this, but you're going to have to discipline your time, how you spend your time, the amount of entertainment and play you have. But yeah, discipline, scheduling, time management. Yeah, get to my makeup, boy. Okay, while you take a, a swing at answering that question, I am gonna go ahead and get started with what the experts say <laughs> is potentially the most important <laughs> aspect of the face, which is the eyes. So, um, <laughs> So that's it. That's it. <laughs> well, you don't close the eyes. No. Babe, if you can try skin, I will throw I'm, you down. I'll tell you what, I'm going to hold off on this for now. I didn't see that going well. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> Contour. Oh. Okay, so guys, my answer is... <laughs> I just said the cheekbones. <laughs> That's all I needed was a touch of dark, a touch of dark. Making that schedule and really sticking to it, being disciplined so that, you know, you know at 7 a.m. you're waking up and you're having quiet time with the Lord so that you know you're going to get that in. No matter how busy the rest of your day is, you got that quiet time in with the Lord. And as your schedule is busy and you got tests coming up, still stay committed to going to church. Stay committed to fellowship. Maybe it's a Bible study. Maybe it's just getting together with Christian guys or Christian girls that are encouraging you in your faith. All right. So the next question is how do I handle the anxiousness of moving to an amazing college, but living so far away from home? There is this anxiousness, like people just, oh my. That is looking really good. People like build up and think 
think and think and think on. And then when you're actually there at your college, you're so busy and you've got so much going on that that anxiousness really goes away. And like, yeah, you might be homesick, but I don't think that it'll be as strong as it was when you were not in college and you were just sitting at home before college thinking about it. What in the heck are you doing? Just a little bit of smoky blue under eye. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm doing this, I'm starting to think this was not a good idea because now it looks like she got popped in the eye. But, oh, wait a minute. If I throw some on top to even it out, it could work. It Keep talking. Like I got a full black eye. Cool. That's a good point. <laughs> Let's just hold off and leave that how it is for a second. I will admit my mistake because I'm a big man. I did not do it. Are you going to do anything with this or just leave it sitting there? Can you? Just, Next question. How do I make Christian friends in college? Everyone just parties. Great question. So yeah, this is something to be very intentional about. We encourage you to go ahead from the get-go and be like, I'm looking for people that I can bring into my life that will build me up and I can build them up. Um, it's mutual. If you're at a secular college, that may mean joining a campus outreach and getting plugged in there. If you're at a Christian college, I mean, you can still join Bible studies at Christian colleges. I would suggest that's a great way. Yeah, if you're not at a Christian college, you're going to have to do a little bit of research, especially if you're new to the college, and find out, you know, do they have FCA if you're an athlete? At all colleges, they're going to have some type of Christian gathering that happens weekly. Um, you're just gonna have to, oh, you're going so far <laughs> under my lips. <laughs> you're the, worst. the rage right now, voluptuous <laughs> lips, and that's what I'm going with here. But yeah, just do some research. What kind of Christian um, activities? <laughs> hmm, next question. Is it worth going to a Christian college? I think the facts are the majority of, of professors at secular colleges are liberal. So that's going to be likely coming through in the classes. Um, if you don't want that, you're probably going to be safer with the Christian college. But there's Christian colleges that still have liberal professors. So... If you choose to go to a Christian college, you have a better chance of finding a godly spouse, of finding a, or more of just like an easier chance, hopefully. Easier. It's likely going to be easier on your faith walk at a, a Christian college. Part of it is knowing yourself. I think by college age, you're hopefully at a place where you have a walk with the Lord that, you know, it's not like you're 12 anymore. It's not like you're just, what do I believe? Like, hopefully you, you have some ground to stand on. To where if you do decide like i feel like i want to go to a secular college you're not just going to be blown here and there by the winds of, of doctrine and differing beliefs now let me get to these lovely eyebrows oh dear all right next question is witnessing to classmates how to be bold and truthful but not come across judgmental or snobbish that is a good question <laughs> <clears throat> excuse me i just, uh, phlegm, phlegm in my throat. As I was applying it, I didn't see it going on as clearly as I do now. How's it looking, guys? How to be bold and truthful but not come across judgmental and snobbish. Honestly, okay, well, first of all, if you are at a secular college, I think the best way to be a witness, and this is my opinion, Paul might have a different opinion, just be yourself, be a light, be the light that Christ has put in you. Set the example. Say no to going to a party. Invite people to come to your church service with you. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to be so upfront and in their face of like, hey, do you know God that he's going to save you? Be yourself. Be a joyful light bulb. I think some people are are so like cautious and almost afraid that, oh, if I make a stand for righteousness, and say like, no, I'm gonna pass on going out to this place, doing this thing, watching this movie and what, whatever it is, then they're gonna think, oh, they're so legalistic. I would just agree with Morgan. Be bold in your convictions. And if you're walking around loving people as you should, like that's gonna come out. And then when you make a stand, it's gonna really, like it's, people are gonna notice. A year or two after I graduated college, one of the guys on the soccer team that I said very little to we weren't close at all, but he came and he was like, Paul, I just want you to know that 
uh, you impacted me in college and I really respected you. And I had no clue, but uh, I think he was just seeing some of the, the stands that I did make, even if they seem really small. On the flip side, be looking for opportunities to straight up share the gospel. And if, if your heart is to see people get saved and see their lives be changed, like if you're on fire for that, as we should be, then yeah, be looking for opportunities to speak words into people's life, to speak the gospel of Jesus Christ, to go to the word of God. And if they maybe invite you in and ask you questions, like take those opportunities. The Bible says to be prepared in season and out of season, you know, give an account of what God's done in your own life. Now time for a little bit of the cat eye. Morgan knows I like this, but she doesn't do it very often, so I get I to... keep forgetting to buy black eyeliner. Oh my goodness. All right, next question is, I do not have a job lined up for me after college. Should I be worried not finding a job after? How many times does the Bible say, do not worry? Oh, well, you're just hitting this head on. We don't need to worry. It's, I mean, there's wisdom in preparing. Don't let yourself fall into the trap, and it's, it's easy to fall into of worrying, of being anxious, being fearful. So I would say, of course, prepare yourself, put out resumes, do what you gotta do. Uh, <laughs> really giving, I'm going for the rosy, peachy oh, cheeks. Oh, you're going down there too on my neck. Prepare your resume, send it out, do the internship, whatever you need to do, but don't worry so much so that it's all your, thoughts are consumed with is, am I going to get a job? I don't know. Where am I going to work? What am I going to do? Blah, 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 blah. Like the Lord has a plan for you. He on my forehead. Listen, sometimes you go into college, you get a degree, you find your husband, you get married and you don't even use your degree for maybe ever, but for maybe several years until your kids are old enough to like be in school or whatever and you're able to use that degree or you're able to find a job from working from home whatever it might be just like you never know what god has in store for you i'm not saying that is what he has in store for you but i'm just saying be open to the impossibilities that the lord has like his ways are so much higher and so much bigger than anything we could ever dream up. So you might have really high dreams, high hopes. God's dreams and plans and ways are higher and bigger. Prepare as much as you can prepare and then trust that the Lord has the rest of it in his hands. Uh, Morgan, I'm going to finish off with a what they call in the beauty industry the finalizer. That's what I want. It finalizes the work that has been done and <laughs> you are set and I must admit Stop! okay you know what it's not my best work <laughs> but I look sick I look like a sick lunatic clown <laughs> you know what we're gonna let them decide my lips <laughs> we're gonna can you get move a little closer to the camera so they can just get a really good close-up of my hey guys, work how's it going See how he did my cat eyes for my eyebrows instead of my eyes? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, they are a little high, actually, now that I see them. And the concealer that he used on my cheeks and didn't blend in at all and just put a random line of That's eyebrow <laughs> pencil. Accentuating the cheekbones. Uh, I had high hopes for you. <laughs> and once again, I'll be honest, it isn't my best work. I've, I've grown rusty. All right, guys, comment below. Let us know on a number scale of how my work looks on Morgan. Five being the best, like killed it with a five, one being the worst. Um, I don't expect to see any ones. If I see anything but a one. Let us know in the comments. Also guys, we wanna hear from you. How would you have answered some of these questions? What did you think of our answers? Let's keep the dialogue going in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed our little surprise. Stay tuned for our next little surprise. Make sure you stay tuned for part two in this series where we're gonna be discussing dating in college. Dating, relationships, marriage. Is it a good idea to date? all that stuff. And then the video after that part three will be partying, drinking. Yeah, we're gonna go there. Thanks for watching you guys. We love you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Go college. <laughs> we'll see you again very soon. Have hope. And be free. Uh.
Uh. You know what she looks like? She looks like a citizen of the capital from Hunger Games. You, I should be a makeup artist for when they sh reshoot no. the hu Hunger no. Games series. No. <laughs> you all tell me, should I be a makeup artist no, for the Hunger Games movies? Game. You're never touching a makeup brush again. Hey. <laughs>